Let's go ahead and add some assignments to Canvas. I'm going to go ahead and click on my demo class. This happens to be in free Canvas. The link is in my description down below, but you can also be on your institution's Canvas site. So I want to add one in my favorite way, which is adding one directly to a module. You can also do this by clicking on the assignments tab. Now up in my module, I'm going to click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to choose add assignment. And then we're going to choose create assignment and let's give our assignment a name. I'm just going to call it um, assignment number one, super, super uncreative. And then I'm going to click on add item. Now the assignment right now is completely empty. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that assignment name and then I'm going to click on the edit button. This gives you all the tools that you need to build that assignment, including changing the assignment name. You can also add some instructions here. You've got your whole rich content editor. So lots of different things that you can do with your instructions. Scrolling down here, you can go ahead and assign how many points this is going to be worth. You can also choose your assignment group, which you would need to set up ahead of time through your assignments tab. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one in assignments. And it also gives you some options of how you want to display the grade to your student. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as points. You don't need to count it towards the final assignment grade, but I'm going to do that. And then we've got our submission type. If I click through the options here, starting with online, it gives me several different options, starting with the text entry, which will give them this content editor, just like we had for our instructions. You can also choose a website URL, which will allow them to copy and paste in a web address. This is great for things like Google Docs or Google Sheets. One quick warning about the website URL. Some of my students are using Google Docs or Google Sheets and they'll forget to share it with me and I'm not able to view it. Another warning, students will post their Google Doc URL but actually not have it finished. And so it's timestamped being done, but they can continue working on that after they posted the URL. You can also give them the option of doing a media recording. If you do a media recording, it's going to give them this option to upload or record media where they can directly record either a video or an audio recording for you. So that one is pretty cool. Um, student annotation, this would be, say that you had a worksheet or some kind of an essay where you wanted students to be able to make edits to it, and they can go ahead and type their comments or even write their comments right onto that file. So the student annotation option is a good one, and then file upload is a super popular one as well. You can even restrict those file types. For example, maybe you only want to allow PDF documents. Now you can again click on all of these or you can click on just one or two of these. Instead of online, we can also do on paper, which means that they are turning that in directly to you physically on paper. And then we can also do some kind of an external tool. Now, the one that I didn't go over was no submission. And this is if you are signing points, maybe you're giving group work during class and you're just gonna give people points for doing that, nothing that they need to turn in on their end. Now you can assign this as a group assignment. You can also do peer reviews. I'm not super familiar with that, but I've got a great video link in the description down below. You also have the option for anonymous grading. And then finally, you've got your due date. So the default is to assign it to everybody and you can go ahead and select a due date. This due date will make the assignment show up in their to-do list and the assignment will also show up in the calendar view. When it's in the module, you'll notice that there's a little due date next to the assignment name. If you choose an available from date, that means that the students won't be able to open it until that date. You can also choose an until date, which means that Canvas will only accept submissions until that date and students will no longer be able to access it. Now, if you're worried about this and you've got students who will be turning it in late, that's what the plus add is for. And you can assign it to an individual student. I don't have any students in this demo class, but if you did, you could just assign it to say Joe students. 
their name would pop up and you can give them their very own due date. Again, this works great for extensions. Let me go ahead and close this off. Now, before I click save or save and publish, I'm gonna go back up and change this back to an online submission type. I want file uploads and I wanna give them an unlimited number of attempts just in case they mess up on one of their uploads. And I'm gonna remove this available date. Now I'm doing this because I wanna look at this as the students do and even practice submitting. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna make sure that my module is published. You just wanna make sure that that green circle is filled in. Let's go to student view. I'm gonna click on that assignment and it gives me the instructions and then the student can click on start assignment. And I'm actually working now as the student first name test, last name student. I can upload a file. I can choose my file and then go ahead and I'll just upload something small and then click on open and the student can even leave some comments. Here is my assignment or you're the best teacher and then submit assignments. Oh, we are going to get confetti and all and I can do a new attempt, but we can also now leave student view go into our grades and access what our test student has done. This is also a wonderful way to practice your grading. Now the other way, let me go back to my class here. The other way to add an assignment is through the assignments tab. You can go ahead and click on assignments tab, go to whichever category you're adding an assignment to, click on that plus sign, and then you're gonna add an assignment here. Next, we're gonna look at how to do some grading in your Canvas class, so be sure to subscribe and watch out for that video. Thanks so much for watching.